Holy crap. Wow, they have a lot of health. 10,000 XP though. I'll take it. Hearing fucking Ignis's scream though. <laughs> like an evil genius. So I can kill them in four hits. Yeah, not too bad. I just have to be very careful of my uh, health. But I do have plenty of blood charms, so I think I'll be okay. Another one. So the only thing I really need to worry about is these things um, attacking me all at once. That did barely anything. Did paralyze though. Near death, and I win. Hmm. Right. Oh, a clock. She did mention the clocks. This huge clock looks like it is partially melted into the black stone surrounding it, but the ground around it has been disturbed, as if someone walked on it recently, perhaps in the last few years. There is something crudely scratched on the clock face, and you suddenly feel a strange crawling sensation worming its way through the back of your skull. You know what's written on the clock is a message to you, from you. Examine the writing. My journal. The message carved on the clock face looks like it was carved with a dagger. Run, doors are lies, use cannons, then portal. It looks like the message was written in some haste, following the message is a crude arrow pointing in the opposite direction as the long hand of the clock. Thanks for the advice. Use cannons. So those. Okay. Hmm. This ancient machine looks like a forgotten war relic. Most of the machine is covered in dust except for the strange panel with levers at the front of it. Oddly enough, the ground around the panel is disturbed. As if someone walked there recently, perhaps in the last few years. Examine the panel. The panel has a series of gears and levers. Beneath each one are a series of scratch marks that look like they were hastily carved there with a dagger. Some bear no marks, others bear a single slash beneath them, and one has an X. Without knowing why, you know the X level will somehow help you leave this place. Pull the lever mark for the next. My journal. It gives way easily beneath your touch, and to your surprise, it disintegrates into mist, then spreads to your hand, which also begins to fade. Then your arm, then you are overcome with dizziness, and the walls are fading around you. What? Oh boy. Oh, fuck! Holy crap. I'm trying to think what I can do. Use. I want to use a spell. Of some description, but I don't know which one. This one, maybe. Poof! Mm-hmm. Holy crap. Oh dear. Injured. I'm hurt. God, fuck me. Not kidding. May as well use the clock charms. There we are. There we go, for a second, it just die already. Die. Thank you. Woo! God damn. Damn. Hmm. More shadows, no doubt. Another one. This engine machine looks like a forgotten war machine. Hunt for the panel, then the lever marked with an X. You quickly find the X marked lever and pull it. It gives way easily beneath your touch, then disintegrates into mist. You take a deep breath, and the wave of dizziness overtakes you again as the walls fade out around you. Where am I going now?
Where is the one who brought you here? In a place where you'll never find him. If you think to be taking him, you'll be needing to get through me first. Your words have passion, strength, and precious little reason. If he gives me the strength to guts you, I don't care. Curious. Your reason for following him here is becoming clear. Enough of your chattering, if it's a fight you want, then c Could it be that you somehow perceive yourself as special in his eyes? I if you're gonna try and get past me, then go on and do it. I... Fiendling, I've watched the one you follow across many lifetimes. I know his heart, and I know there have been countless others who have felt passion for him. Of them all, you are certainly the least... You are certainly the least you are a thing. Bastardized by your parents in the plains. Shut your bone box, you hear me? Shut your... Answer me this, and you will know silence, child. Does the one you follow matter to you? He matters more to me than my life. Then die. Oh no. So Anna's kill killed. Why? What the fuck? So Anna's just been killed. Oh fuck. Ah! You won't pay any attention, you prick. They look so creepy. I'm hurt. Oh bloody hell, you're not kidding. I'm gonna say it would be nice. Oh, I keep forgetting that I have this. Yeah, the branch stuff. Should give it a use. Oh, whoops. Nice. I mean, I've got 99 of them, might as well. How the fuck are these things still li alive? Oh my god, this is fucking stupid. For some reason, they're not dying. There we go, one down. God. Ugh, hit my ass. So I'm not going to be getting to get back together with my uh, companions, it would appear. Ah, that's sad. Hmm. Oh, Jesus. I wonder if I can continually use it. They only get hit by one. Oh, if I move, it doesn't cast. That's dumb. Die. Jesus. There's a lot of shadows here. Probably the worst thing. Oops. Mm-hmm. Nice. Oh, it did 20. God, this thing alone can do like 40 damage to me. What the heck? There we go. Oh wait, why is that only recovering 18? I thought it recovered 20 set- Oh wait, no, that's the blood charm. I'm on about the heart charm, which I don't have any of. Just kill this one. There. Good shit. Still so many shades. Uh, shadows. I didn't get hit once. Ha! Shaka. Oh dear. Oh, Black Sphere. Great. There are traps here too. Great. Just what I want. Oh wow, that was real good. 
Ja. Are you kidding? That's bullshit. The fact I didn't hit it a single fucking time. My ass. I keep missing my crits. I'm gonna say I can't complain too much, that thing didn't hit me once. So I mean, it's all good. I guess. Oh, another one! Ugh. Oh, this is where I came in. Okay. There's another one there. Come on. Yay! Hmm. Might as well kill this one too. Can I actually hit it with Ice Knife this time? Does Ice Knife just not fucking work? Yeah, I guess not. That's really dumb. Hmm. Really dumb. Oh, just hit it, please. Thank you. Hmm, hmm. Very nice. Look for the X. Where am I going now? So now who dies? Is it really killing all of them? Yep. Really? Oh no! Oh god. Ah, the Githzerai. I remember him well. Submit. I may be bested in battle, but I shall never be defeated. You cannot hope to defeat me. I have been here before. This time I shall never leave. So be it. Oh no. Oh great. Of course. Oh god. Come on down. Oh my god, come on. Damn. Kaboom. Very good. <clears throat> so that's just... Uh, f right. So that's where I just... U that's what I just used. Oh, that is something I can go up. Oh. Ah. This is probably where the last one is. If I had to guess. Ouch. Damn. I keep missing crits. Oh, it's the worst. Every single crit I have, it's just critical miss. It's fucking grand. Oh, whoops. Didn't realize I was at full health. Jesus. It's always so loud. And scary. Oh. I think that might be the last one. Mm-hmm. Okay. I think I could get away with that. Quick save. So this ancient war machine, or ancient machine, looks like it's a forgotten war relic. Covered in dust except for the strange panel with levers 
at the front of it. Oddly enough, the ground around the panel is disturbed as if somewhat... Yeah, it's the same as every single time. Oh! Quickly find the X-mark lever and pull it. It gives away... Easily beneath your touch, then disintegrates into mist. Take a deep breath, but unlike other the other times, nothing happens. My journal. In the distance, you hear a roaring sound, as if something just opened. And a howling wind is rushing through the vaults. As you try and figure out where the sound is coming from, you suddenly realize you are disintegrating and becoming part of the wind. Now what's happening? Oh, not of. Processing. Flame. Negative material. A location. Fortress of regrets. Ah, the rogue construct. Sense of closure imminent. You have overstepped yourself. Submit. You wish harm upon one who has aided Nordum at cost to his selves. Nordum will attempt to stop you. Prospect of success, slight. Uh. Oh dear. The body is a shell. Intense pressure may fracture it. Shall I continue? You intend to harm him. Nordum will stop you. Hmm. So there's Mordom. The only one left is Mort. Oh, and, uh... Valor. Which is a real shame. Do I even need to fight? Probably not. Oh god. Just run past them, you dumb fuck. Ah, oh god! Keep on moving and grooving. Yeah, screw the shadows. There's only two of them. Don't care. There we go. I did it. Woo! All right, portal. Now I think. Oh yeah. Oh no. Ah oh, Christ. What is that? So this huge crystal radiates a pulsating spectral light as it hovers above the crater in the middle of the room. The, ry the rhythm of its pulses reminds you of a heartbeat, but slow and sickly. Light from the crystal touches the edges of the room, like fingers. Each ray of light casting a glow on the ruined faces of the statue surrounding it. Ooh. Okay. Touch, touch the crystal. Ah, uh, there we are. As you touch the crystal, there's a flash of heat. An orange-white light, and you whip your hand back. The crystal burns like the heat from Ignis's flames. From within the crystal, the sickly blue, uh, white blue f light dances and flickers like fire. Looks like I'll have to put you in the dead book first, Ignis. Ah, oh, there. Of course. Infernal Shield! Badly injured. Oh, barely injured, not badly. God. Oh my god. Near death. Oh man. Didn't think I'd have to kill Ignis. Yeah, I'll just kill him regularly. Die. Like men. Damn. Come on. There he goes. And I leveled up. This huge crystal radiates a pulse. Yeah, yeah. There is a moment of dizziness as you touch the crystal, then a slow chill passes through your body, and you discover that your muscles have locked, your hand frozen to the crystal's surface. 
There is a moment of silence, then sharp pains splinter through your body like fractures. You feel as if your very being has been turned to ice, then shattered. Fall into darkness. Whoa, what? Hey, see? How's it going? What the heck? Good incarnation. He has awakened. Practical. Incarnation. Finally, I thought I would die again, waiting for him to rise. Perhaps... Perhaps you will still die. Never forget, I watch you. Thieves. You kill us. Kill us all, all three of you. Oh nice, that sounds pretty good. So, have a care how you speak to me, you deranged wreck. He was fortunate to reach here with all those traps you scattered throughout the plains. I swear, if I could have crossed the years to put you out of your misery, I would... The two of you be silent. Let us make sure he is alright and save the arguments for later. Who are all of you? Or who are, who are you all? By the hells, he's lost his memories. Damnation. He's useless to us now. Calm yourself. He's only disoriented. As we... As were we all. Give him a moment to get his bearings. You are all thieves, wearing my body. My body. And you will give it back. I am at the limits of my patience with your howling. Be silent, or... This arguing avails us nothing. Give him his space, leave him be. Time is no longer in our favour. I will not stand here and squander another moment while our adversary is no doubt hunting for us. We waited long enough for him to awaken. I will speak to him now. What the heck? So the man before you resembles you, but he carries himself more like a force than a man. His eyes are watching you carefully, and as you study him, you feel him studying you. So, it has come to this. Who are you? I will not surrender my name to you or any man. The man's voice is rough, like yours and it rings strangely in your ears. As for who I am, you should be asking yourself that. You are one of my incarnations. You made it here with my clues to guide you. We... we were separate incarnations? How is that possible? The incarnation is silent for a moment, then his expression changes to contempt. If there is anything I have hated about you, it is your countless questions, your desperate fumbling for meaning and answers. The man's voice is like a hatchet, and anger flickers across his features. The time for questions is past. Now you will listen to me. I was the first to breach this fortress, and whatever it is that awaits us here was somehow able to defeat me. It will not best me a second time. You sound as if you intend to fight whatever it is that lurks here. The man gives you a strange look, then studies you. Of course. That's the only reason we're speaking now. I'll need you to be the shell, but your mind must be my mind. Do you understand me? You mean, you intend to possess me? Updated my journal. Yes, he glances around at the spiked walls, then turns back to face you. We cannot leave this place in pieces. Only one may leave. How are we to become one? You must surrender your will to me, your knowledge and skills. Whatever little you've you've managed to accumulate in your life may prove useful. He sizes you up again. It ultimately will be but a fraction of my power, but it might have its uses. Hmm. <laughs> I've got questions for you. Okay. So, how do I surrender my will? You came here previously and were defeated. The man frowns. I was taken unawares. I did not anticipate that my companions would be split from me upon my arrival. What happened after that is confusing. Okay, so... Even if I were to surrender to you, then we could still fail? Unlikely. I'm the only one who possesses the knowledge necessary to succeed. This moment is a culmination of centuries of planning. Many have suffered and died for us to be here. Their sacrifices must not be in vain. The last sentence unnerves you. It is delivered like a speech, and there is no passion behind the words. Okay, and why should I let you possess me? You have no choice in the matter. You do not know how to escape this place. I do. If you refuse to surrender with me, I will refuse to surrender to you. And neither of us will ever be able to leave this place. Only one may leave, and it will not be you. Um... Okay... If you're one of my incarnations, I have questions. I'll indulge you, but only for a, a while longer. You are the one who saved Akon at Shrek Law, the one who imprisoned Valor, and the one who led Dianara to her death. The man's eyes narrow. What of it? All of it was done with a purpose. You gave Akon the Unbroken Circle of Zerthamon. Why? The Unbroken, Unbroken Circle? That collection of lies? Yes, it was a week's work to forge such a thing. It was necessary to make it so he would cease doubting himself. You made it? But you told him... 
Perhaps they carry some truth. I know not. I know that they were tedious writings, but the words were enough to give him faith. Why? Your ignorance astounds me. The man looks incredulous. Can it be that you do not know what he carries in his hand? That blade he carries is shaped by his thoughts. Such a tool, when used properly, could slay the multiverse itself. The man looks lost in thought, then his face sneers in disgust. Though, obviously, the gith became separated when we arrived in the fortress, and I was unable to make use of his blade. The man frowns. Unfortunate. Something else I'd like to know. Oh my. Right, okay. So there. Wait, so what was the purpose of saving the con at Shrek Law? Okay, he says the same thing. The He saved the con because of his blade. Why? Mm. The man frowns. Unfortunate. Okay, so it's the same thing. You are the one who led Dianara to her death. The man's eyes narrow. What of it? Ah, oh, why did Dianara have to die? Dianara, that girl had little sense of the planes in her. And that was what I needed her for. You see, the dustmen have it right. Sometimes when you feel too much passion, you cling too tightly to life to let go. And neither did Dianara, as I hoped she would. That woman, that ghost? The hunched man's eyes well up in fury, and spittle flies from his mouth. She tormented me for years, pursuing me, hating me. And you were the one that killed her? The incarnation barely even glances at the howling one and merely sneers. You blaming me for anything is laughable. He turns back to you. It wasn't out of malice, though she did become tiresome. It's just that when I arrived in the fortress, I didn't intend to stay. I just wanted to get in, sacrifice her, then get out. The third incarnation speaks softly, but he sounds pained. Why did you do such a terrible thing? I needed someone to be my eyes here on the negative material plane to serve as a scout and try and find out who my killer was. Only the dead can survive here for long. So Dianara had to be sacrificed so that she could become something other than she was. A tricky business, but it worked. She helped you, didn't she? You didn't have to kill her. He looks at you silently for a moment, then his sneer returns. And that is why you will be defeated if you confront our killer. It's because you are weak, and you do not see that some things are necessary. Ooh. Hmm. So that wasn't necessary, it was convenient for you. You should have looked for other solutions. You dare lecture me? Women have always walked our path with us, whether Dianara or Ravel or any other woman, and they have suffered, and it was always their choice. Dianara would have died for me if I'd asked her to. There was no crime. Ah, uh, okay, whatever. So... Oh, what the... There's so many different things here. What was the... No, no, no. Neither that either. What was the purpose of imprisoning Valor? Or Valor? The Thang shakes his head as if weary. Valor was becoming tiresome. He gives a humorous smile. Those mercy killer dogs will hunt you across the plains themselves in search of justice. And Valor was an especially persistent hound. The incarnation's voice dropped slightly. And he was much too close to justice for my tastes. Why was he hunting for us? Oh, any of the countless reasons, some of which lie with me. And others which lie in the hands of other incarnations. He flicked a glance over at the Incarnation who was howling when you first arrived. There have been many lives that have been blackened by Incarnations with damaged minds. Some of us have created problems, I believe, in solutions. Ah. So, was he a threat? Oh yes, or else I would have simply killed him. He nods. There is some link between him and justice itself, and that gives him power even over a mortal such as us. The man gives a slight smile, especially if our injustices are great, and ours are of the blackest sort. Right. So, tell me about... Zachariah. The archer? Well, old sodden Zachariah could see things with his eyes that I couldn't. So, he could hit them with his arrows too. So? Well, I was walking into this fortress blind in some ways. I didn't know what my killer was, so I needed someone who could see things I couldn't in case the enemy was beyond my visual range. He snorts. Zachariah ended up dying too fast, though, so it wasn't any use in the end. I didn't want to do that. Let me get my parent wheel speak. There's something else I'd like to know. Oh, there. Holy fuck, there's so many. <laughs> Jesus. Are you the one who taught Ignis the art? Ignis? The man stares at you, then frowns. Is that a name? Who in the hell are you talking about? You answered my question. Wow, I didn't realize there was so much. You built the tomb beneath S Sigil, didn't you? The one with the traps? I'd almost forgotten. Yes, what a waste that was. The incarnation seems irritated. Obviously, that didn't work, and it cost a lot of blood and coin, too. 
Worthless. The second incarnation breaks into uneven laughter. But it's even more gleeful, it's more gleeful than mad. It was easy to break that child's trap. I found it, and changed it, to make it harder, change the writings. The first incarnation frowns at the second. He looks like he is barely restraining himself from attacking the other. Yet another thing you will answer for. He turns back to you, though I suppose it doesn't matter. It was shortly after the failure of the tomb trap that I decided to carry the battle to our killer rather than wait for him to show any longer. Right, so what else? Eleven. Were you the one who pried Mort off the Pillar of Skulls? Is Mort still alive? The incarnation stares for a moment in disbelief, and then... Then he starts laughing. Huh, that Pike and Skull couldn't be... Trusted father, then I could throw him. Claiming he had, claiming he had information when he didn't. Then I had to go through the torment of prying him off the Pillar of 